So I've come to the conclusion recently that a lot of the important things in life actually happen in oscillation. For those of you that don't know what that means, essentially a wave, a dip, and then a high point. Things like grief, discovery of character or self, creativity, all these things, in my opinion, happen in a cycle. And in the last couple of months, I came across a lot of videos and a lot of kind of casual references of this. Um, people saying something along the lines of like seasons for certain things, seasons for sowing the seed, seasons for reaping, um, different elements that have to play into things, literally the months of the year and the seasons, how they, they affect the ecosystem. But I wanted to make this video to kind of assuage potentially your, um, your understanding of potentially the depression or the difficulties that you're going through because I promise you every single person in this life has to go through these difficulties and it's actually a part of building us up a lot of the time we feel like you know four or five things that are terrible happen at the same time and we get a little overwhelmed and we can tend to think that life is not fair and that things are not catered towards us and that we kind of get a little hopeless and I want you to know that when it comes down to it the depth of your sadness in your life the depth of the difficulty that you've had that will determine how happy you're actually capable of being how joyful and adventurous you're capable of being there's there is no life without this difficulty, this dip. Without it, we're, we're really not all that complete. And I've gotten to a point in my life where I actually look forward to situations that are going to be considered a dip or stressful or difficult because I say, why not? I survived all of the rest of the difficulties so far. The difficulties make this story worth telling. So why not? see them appreciate them for what they are so grief i wanted to talk about first uh losing people you know breaking up with someone uh losing a friend a relative a pet grief we've been told for a long time and this is something that i'm picking up directly from hidden brain one of my favorite podcasts We've been told a long time that there's five stages of this grief thing where we kind of can't quite comprehend what's happening to us in the beginning. And after a series of, I guess, realizations or actualizations, we, we get past it. We were, we're healed of it. It turns out that's not how it works, really, because grief apparently never really goes away and me being someone that's lost a thing or two in my life i can say that does grief go away i think it becomes easier to deal with things you know it becomes easier because the words that they use at least in the podcast where life grows around grief it's kind of like something dead in the forest right like everything will slowly de com decompose it and grow around it and potentially even grow stronger from it, new nutrients. So grief is something that we need to understand there's going to be times that it hits us like a truck. It, it makes things very difficult. It makes our life illogical, really. And... If we dwell in it for too long, it can be a bad thing. But a little bit of dwelling in it is actually, it's good, in my opinion. You, you really should, at some point, come to terms with the difficulty that your soul is going through. And just dwell in that feeling. Because there's going to be a lot of other things that come up in life that are going to be kind of congruent or very similar to that feeling. And if, if we get comfortable with it we get okay with the fact that we're hurting 
it's going to be easier for us to deal with it in the future. Now, there are going to be periods where we think to ourselves that we've forgotten altogether, that we have moved past what has happened to us. Where we literally don't recall at all, consciously, what is going on. We might be busy doing things, running around, you know, being social, whatever it is. And that period, the upshot of this, uh, this wave, that period is actually us healing. So you should expect this to a, to a capacity, to a degree. You should expect that anytime you lose something in your life, there is going to be a time where you must dwell on it. And there are going to be times where you think to yourself, wow, why am I not worried about this at all? And it's natural. It's our body healing. And this actually applies to a lot of other things in life. But the particular ones that I wanted to talk about, the next one is the search of self. This, this actualization thing, this, uh, this lifelong journey. I see it as data. Anything, any experience that we go through in life is essentially data for our souls. Something for us to chew on for a while and try to understand a stimulus that potentially is new and novel that helps us contextualize who we are in this world. There are times in life, at least in my life, where I have set certain expectations, certain goals. And in order for me to reach these goals, I realize I don't have the data yet to get there. So I have gone out of my way consciously upon the recommendation of probably a lot wiser people than me to move somewhere, to go to a different place, to set a goal that's almost, that's on the way to this kind of larger thing. And the reason that these people, I believe, recommend this, because as I've seen in my own life, is by virtue of that change, by virtue of the discrepancy between I'm comfortable with this and this is really weird and kind of out of my comfort zone, that change, that change in momentum, that is the difficult thing to come come over. That is That is the thing that will make most people avoid that change, avoid going into it. Because it's essentially a change of momentum, right? It's like it's like you're going from this this dip to this high point or from the high point to the dip. It's like on a roller coaster, right? Like you're gonna feel that. I think the more calloused we get about that change, the more we we say to ourselves that it's gonna be okay, you know, that this ride will take me, but it's not gonna break me. I think it's a very important first realization if you're if you're going to go on this journey of change is there are going to be times where you're uncomfortable and it's required in order to reach the end of the goal, the end of the journey, the end of the adventure. If you ever read a fiction novel, you know, you know, the main character has to go through some shit in order to become what they're capable of. So this oscillation this taking in data and then on the upshoot or either way either way around digesting the data and really contextualizing it using it drawing wisdom having conversations about the things that we go through this cycle is ongoing to the point where it's actually we never get to a point where we know at all and we know who we are as a person. And it's a beautiful thing. Difficult to explain. But we're kind of this transient, this object, this um, untouchable object. And we, we move through this life learning and adapting to every new circumstance that we come across. And for a lot of people, this can be very frightening. This can be daunting to believe that there's no sturdy stable ground my argument is why not let's make it as fun as humanly possible 
to live this life. And if oscillations, if that feeling of change is actually what we're looking for, is the thing that catalyzes our inevitable ascent to our goals, then we should embrace it. Creativity is a lot like this too, and I'll just go into this real quick. In my opinion, having periods of time where an artist can digest information, even if they're constantly creating really pointed exploration of of the things that inspire artists, I think are required in order for, for us to eventually create what feels good to us, to actually manifest the thing that we're we're storing inside of our hearts or our souls anyway i hope you found this video interesting i hope uh i hope it gives you something to think about the oscillations in your life don't be afraid of it you know it's a bit uncomfortable sure but i think i think trying to juice it for what it is where, where you're at on that oscillation is is kind of the path to wisdom. Anyway, smash that like button for me. It helps a lot. This is a video that I made. When I have a chance, I'll put it up about trying to figure out the the upshot of negative situations in life. We all come across it, sure. The better we deal with it, the better we'll be equipped for life in general. So actualize your potential, my friend. The world needs you. Take care.